Hi, this is Phil from Teach Blend. I'm Phil EdTech on Twitter. Today we're going to be looking at Wakelet and how we can use this to collect and share information for students and give you some real world examples for its use. So just thought I'd go over a few things that you could use Wakelet for. So I've just taken this from the Wakelet website. So you can, for example, save and present resources, which is a really simple and easy way of getting access to students' information and providing them with a one-stop shop for various resources, such as YouTube videos, tweets, links, pictures, text, etc. Probably the most used version of, of Wakelet. You can also use it for portfolios as well, so they can use it to create powerful student portfolios that evidence skills that they have been doing. It's something our college has been doing a lot at the moment, where we've actually used the portfolio system so that they can evidence skills. We've also been using it for digital storytelling. Digital storytelling is a really good and simple way of engaging students. So what this could mean is giving them a video about a particular topic, then a bit of text, then a website, and the students have to navigate them themselves through this story. We've also been using it for collaboration as well. So students can collaborate on individual projects. They can add themselves to a group project, which they can work on and share and give peer assessment and feedback. Personal development is a brilliant use for teachers. So this, what this does is it allows them to create a Wakelet collection to collect resources from example from Twitter. So I find loads and loads of really useful things on Twitter from the web, but at that moment it might be a little bit inconvenient for me to, to access it. So what I do is I just share it to my Wakelet collection. I can like bookmark it under a particular category and then come back to it when I want to. Finally as well, Wakelet is brilliant for accessible newsletters, so providing information to students and to staff, but in a more interactive way. It's also really useful because it works with Microsoft Immersive Reader, it's accessible for everyone, and it's just a little bit better than your run-of-the-mill PDFs, for example. So let's uh, crack on now and have a look at how we use Wakelet and how we can use it in our lessons. So the first thing we're going to do is navigate to wakelet.com and then sign up. You can sign up with your Google account, Microsoft or Facebook account or individual email. As you can see, I have just logged in using my Wakelet account. And in here, this is your homepage where your collections are stored. And essentially collections are your resources for your students to access. I'm going to go ahead and create a collection now. And as you can see, you get this very simple and basic overview. I'm going to create an example today, which is a maths one. So I'm just uploading an image now um, as a background and adding my title as well. You can choose from Unsplash, which is a free resource. As you can see, that's what I'm doing now to add a background or you can create your own. I'm also going to go ahead and create a quick description to explain to the students what this Wakelet collection is about. So, after clicking the plus button, you'll see various options, such as paste URL, text, YouTube, tweets, bookmarks, images, PDF, Drive, OneDrive from 365, and video. Each one of these allows you to add content for your students. So I'll quickly just go over these. Pasting a URL is like a web link. So here I've just added an example to Khan Academy. In the next one, you have got text and in there you can write text for your students and provide a bit of content and structure around your links. YouTube, you can insert YouTube videos. So in this example, I might insert some maths help resources from YouTube. Next up is tweets and in here you can bookmark tweets, what you may find useful for students and add them into your Wake Up connection. We have then got bookmarks so you can reuse posts that you have added to Wake Up. We have got images and images are useful for example if you wanted to upload an image of a textbook or a whiteboard. A PDF is again very very useful for things such as past exam papers that students can recap on. You will also have access to Google Drive so that you can add files from your Google Drive and you have exactly the same using 365 OneDrive if your college used 365 rather than Google Drive. Finally, there is also one called Flipgrid, which allows you to record video directly into Wakelet to provide some feedback to students or examples. 
You could, for example, record yourself explaining a difficult exam topic. As you can see now, I have finished my Wakelet, I have added some text, some videos and links. If I want to move this around or edit, I can just simply hover over each element and it will allow me to do this. I can also enable easy reorder mode, which will allow me to change the order as well. And I can change how the Wakelet looks. This one is currently in media view, but you can change these. Once you're happy with your design, you'll need to share this with your students. So you will need to click on the private and change this to either unlisted or public and click save and exit. You'll now see that your Wakelet is created and you can use and click on the individual links and it's a very nice easy collection. I'm now just going to click on the free ellipses and as you can see you can embed and export your collections and change the visibility and delete. Clicking share will allow you to create a QR code and clickable links to your favorite tools such as Google Classroom and also create a generic link you could email to students. You can also create contributions which allow students to contribute to your collection. Students could also do this which is great for teamwork collections and group activities. Finally I'm just going to show you how following and all your collections look. So here you can see a list of all my collections. If you click bookmarks, they're my individual links. And then I've got group collections as well. And you can also have followers and follow other educators or students. This will be great for your students to follow particular people or yourself. So here I am following SOS Learning. And as you can see, I can see all of SOS's Learning's open posts, which is really, really useful. So if your students would follow you, they could see all of your collections just in one place, which is great for revision activities. I hope you found this useful. Again, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Phil EdTech and also follow TeachBlend. And please subscribe to our channel. It's really appreciated. Thank you very much.